I love the video because he's hardworking and talented. That is what is coming in from Timaya and saying that despite his father's money, this guy is still working hard day in day out. And a lot of people are trying to water down the achievements of Davido based on his family background because he came from a very rich family. And Timaya is saying that that is a disrespect to an extent. I think it hurts. When you work hard, a lot of people will say, man, not mine and I family, they make them, they achieve all these things. That is what is happening to Davido. And Timaya got this to say about him. Okay, like someone like a Davido. You think Davido because his father has money? There are a lot of people that their father has money. They don't do it like Davido. He's, I love that young man. He's so, so talented. And not just talented, hard working. Some people, if their father has that kind of money, I don't think they'll even work. They will just, what am I stressing for? Young man wakes up every day. You don't need to put an alarm. His passion wakes him up. So those are the things I'm looking at every time. I could be like, okay. For me, Davido is one of the hardest worker as a Nigerian artist. And this guy has achieved a lot of things in his life. And some people are really saying that his effort will be tied to his family's wealth. That is actually a watered down and very disrespectful for Davido. Is Whiskey's baby mama training Davido? That is what is trending on social media after she came out to make a statement that money can't buy love. Few hours, Davido actually gifted 300 million naira to orphanages across Nigeria. A lot of people are saying, why did she tweet that? Few hours after Davido gifted 300 million naira. Is she trailing the video? I think a lot of people can always read meanings to things and uh, we have to be careful with this fanship out there. You people are causing more harms than good. That is what I can see right now based on this I'm seeing on social media. For me guys, you know, based on this fanship of a thing, a lot of people keep watering down uh, the talents and the achievement or hard works of David o. David o has actually worked hard in the music industry to be where he is today. He's not the only person that came in from a rich background. We have the lives of uh, DJ Copy, we have Need to See and a lot of others. But David o worked his way up there and people are quick to say, yes, all his achievement is tied to his family. David o is a hard worker and he's achieving a lot and a very talented artist. Right now, I will say I am disappointed at Two Face, Idibia and Root Boy based on their sounds on Bonner Boys, Idris Abdukarin saga on social media. I think when somebody offends somebody, you should be able to come out and tell the truth. Are these guys afraid of Bonner Boy? That is what it is. How would you say you stand with Bonner Boy after Bonner Boy allegedly made a statement about Idris' health, you know, mocking him with his health and saying a lot of things and insulting Idris' father? That is very wrong to an extent. And I'm a disappointed at Two Face Idibia for not coming out to say, yes, burner boy, you got it all wrong this time around. You shouldn't have made reference to Idris' health and his father. If you want to talk to Idris, talk to Idris directly. That is what is supposed to be. But what can we say? The music industry is full of haters. The music industry is full of... Uh, you know, kind of uh, eye service people and other things. That is what I've understand over time. A lot of people cannot really caution the excessive of the lies of Brunner Boy and others in the music industry because they are afraid to hurt them or to offend them. When we told that line, we are breeding some set of bullies in the music industry. That is something we need to actually understand. In future, a lot of people will be able to bully others and nobody will caution them to eat. That is what we they are really building right now. Nigerian teenage artist who is from Edo State, King Madi, has made history of becoming the first teenage artist from Nigeria to be nominated for International Reggae World Music Awards. That is what it is right now. A lot of people are really excited for her. What do you have to say about all of this? I want you to put that in the comment section. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.